Hey CTE, we are back for another story time. Here's Cooper. He's just like not like particularly cooperating today. He's really into this squirrel family that's living in our tree over there and he keeps wanting to go get them. So he's gonna hang out for just a little bit. <laughs> and he's decided to like, see, there he is. You can see him. Cooper, say hi to the kids. <gasps> say hi. There, there he's wagging his tail. Okay, so he is going to be in the story for a little bit. We are going to read this brand new book called Lion Lessons by John Algie. And it is about someone who wants to be a lion, but normally would not be a lion. Okay, he, um, John wrote the book. Oh, Cooper just left. John wrote the book and drew the pictures. And the book is published by Dial Books for Young Readers. So we are very thankful that they are letting us read these books during this time in, um, while we were out of school. So here we go. How do you earn a lion diploma? By looking fierce, prowling around, roaring, and most importantly, looking out for your friends. Will this daring student pass the test? I don't know. Okay. So, we can see our main character walking down through the city. There we go. Okay, and he passes a knitting, the classes for all ages, learn the violin. I wonder where he's trying to go to. Oh my goodness, he's going for lion lessons. Seven easy steps. It's not easy getting your lion diploma. I know. I took lessons. You see him getting his, his lion outfit on? My teacher was a pro. There are seven steps to becoming a lion, he said. But first, we must stretch. <laughs> Why is he a pro? Because he is a lion. And look at all those diplomas behind his desk. All those awards he's gotten. Seven steps. We did the upward lion. The downward lion, the upside down lion, the rolling lion, the flying lion, and we shook our manes. What does that remind you of that you guys were, have worked on maybe in PE? <laughs> Step one was looking fierce. Watch me, said the lion. You bear your claws, gnash your teeth, and show your fangs. I tried out my three most frightening poses. The lion wasn't impressed. <laughs> Look, he got his nose up in the air. Not impressed. Step two was roaring. It's simple, said the lion. Take a deep breath and roar as loud as you can into the microphone. Roar. I took a deep breath and roared as loud as I could. Roar. Needs work, said the lion. What did it go on the meter? Oh no, quiet. <laughs> Step three was choosing what to eat. The lion showed me the menu. Are there any specials, I asked. You know, like spaghetti? The lion growled. We don't eat spaghetti. Uh-oh. 
What do they eat? Do you think it's something that a young boy is going to want to eat? <laughs> Prairie raised anteater? Wild warthog? Sloth? Free range? Muskrat? Ooh, all you can eat antelope. <laughs> I don't know, man. Organic iguana? I don't know if being a lion is like a good idea. Step four was prowling around. We crept through the woods, trying to be invisible. We hid in the bushes. I can see your tail, said the lion. We hid behind trees. Your tail, said the lion. I can still see it. Can you see it? <laughs> There's a lot of work to be in a lion. Step five was sprinting. Do you see that tree, said the lion. I looked around. You mean the little one here? No, said the lion. The big one on that faraway hill. I'll meet you there in five minutes. Five minutes? What do you think? At the tippy top of that hill? It took me an hour. You need to hit the gym, said Lion. <laughs> Look at him. He's all relaxed. And poor Lion trainee is just barely climbing up that hill. Step six was pouncing. It's simple, said the Lion. You get a running start, and then you jump on that lady. But I'll scare her to death. Uh, that's the idea, said the lion. So I got a running start. And I pounced. What a cute little kitty cat, said the lady. Are you lost? Meow, I said. Uh-oh. You think he's going to pass lion school with us, right? A lion checked my scores. This is not very promising. Oh, no. It's like the grade book. Step seven was looking out for your friends. Right away, I spotted a kitten. Friend or foe, said the lion. That's easy, I said. Friend. What about that dog? Uh-uh. Friend or foe. I let a ferocious roar. Roar! <laughs> I bared my claws, gnashed my teeth, pawed the ground, shook my mane, and then I sprinted across the field as fast as I could. And pounced, exactly like a, well, you know, a lion. Bravo, said lion. Who did he save? He saved his friend, the kitten, from the ferocious dog. And that's how I got my diploma. I'm very proud of it. <laughs> but now the neighborhood cats won't leave me alone. <laughs> so 
there were seven steps. Do you remember what they were? Seven steps. One of them was stretching. He had to do the upward lion, the downward lion, the upside down lion, the rolling lion, the flying lion, and he had to shake his mane. Step one, so that was the lead up. Step one was looking fierce, but he didn't seem to pass it very well because the lion wasn't impressed. Step two was roaring. Did you know that they practice with a microphone? I didn't know that either. And yet he did not get to the noisy or loud. He got only to quiet. Hmm. So, so far, no good on step one and two. Step three was all those things he had to choose to eat. Was that working for him? Not so much. Well, he wanted to try something else. He wasn't passing step three. Step four was prowling around and being invisible. And do you remember what the lion kept seeing? Right, he kept seeing his, his tail. So it wasn't, didn't pass that, step four. Step five was when he had to run all that way in five minutes to the top of the hill. Did that work? Nope, he didn't pass step five either. Oh, step six was pouncing. And when he pounced, what happened? The little old lady wasn't even scared. She thought it was a cute little kitty cat. Wow, he was not doing very well. So the last step, seven, was looking out for your friends. How did he do on that one? He did amazing. <laughs> he saw the little kitty cat being a friend. And he saw the mean dog chasing him. And when he saw that his friend was in trouble, guess what happened? You know all those steps he didn't do so well at? All of a sudden, he could do it. He roared really loud. He looked really fierce. He pounced. He ran. And he scared that dog off and saved his friend. So, he may not have been so great at the first couple of steps, but on that last step, step seven, watching out for his friend, he was number one. No. So what do we learn about that when you're going to be a lion? Or you're going to be like a, a protector? What's the most important thing you have to be able to do? Look out for your friends, right? doesn't matter if you're super loud or super tough or super fast. Or you're super invisible. It matters if you can look out for your friend. Huh. I love that book, Lion Lessons, How to Be a Lion. And it's not necessarily exactly what you think. Okay. I hope you guys are enjoying the week. The weather is nice, as you can tell. It's a little windy out here today, but I sure am enjoying it. Hey, if you are thinking about how to get your books back to the library, don't worry. We're coming up with a plan, and there will be a day to turn in your tech and your library books as we get closer to the end of the school year. Um, so just keep, them, keep reading them, keep them in a safe place, and we will get those all collected at the school. Okay, enjoy your day. Don't forget... In order to be a lion, there's really only one lesson you have to pass. Bye-bye, CTE.